Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to a new episode on the channel. Today we are talking about Sketch version 41, which is bringing us many new features and a like small redesign also that is kind of nice because finally we have such a flat R icon for a Sketch. We have new icons in general, this new startup screen, which is really great. A lot of times when I opened up Sketch, I usually went up here and said I want to open one of my recent files. Now I'm able to just select it from one of these right here and you can also just go for your templates. Now I want to show you something very very cool which is the new nested overrides feature and what you have to do to achieve that is to use it on certain elements of course and I want to use it on a navigation. So we are simply building a standard navigation that you are probably also used to. So you have your, for example, your home link, your about link, and you have your have your uh, contact link like that. So these are our main links. These, uh, this is the navigation that we are going to work with, and it's available in an artboard. Now we want to create a symbol out of these elements. So what you have to do, so you select all of them, then you group them up, give the group the name nav and create a symbol, just easy like that. What you're now going to do is to jump into your symbols, into the folder that you have and select the home uh, element. Next, click create symbol and call it home. Then you have it like standing alone for itself. If you change something from now on, you see that it is also changed in the navigation symbol itself. What you now do is to copy it and paste it. You can rename it now. Just name it active. And what I'm going to do now is to say I'm, I want to have this plaque when it's active in our main navigation. But you see it's still like inactive right here and inactive in our main navigation. Now let's jump back to our page where we have our navigation available. Select the symbol and right now you see overrides. And this is the new feature that we are having right now in Sketch version 41. You can select now you want to have the home active. So you see it just simply change to the active tab that we uh, just created in our symbols. Of course you can do this with many different things uh, as well. So let's go and open new from template and we want a new iOS UI design. It's opening this up and usually you know that we have uh, these tab bars in iOS and I'm just trying to find one of them in this uh, template. Not seeing any, ah, right there, okay. Okay, yeah, right here it is. You see that this is the bottom bar and let me just copy it into our example file to show you how it's working or let me just create a new one real quick. So we have the bottom bar right here. This is basically the bottom bar that you are using in all of your iOS apps. Now let's jump to the to the navigation right here and what we are going to do now is to select one of these elements for example 2 and we copy it, ah sorry not we copy it, we create a symbol out of it. Group 2, now we have it right here, now we copy it and now you are able to just do the things that you already did before now. For example, just selecting the blue color right here for the, for the element and we have to actually change the font just for our testing purposes. And we want to have it blue as well. So now if we jump back actually to our page you see that we are able to select group 2 and this is the active tab actually. This is just making this tab 
are active and this is actually what you can do with these nested overrides. It's a cool feature, it really improves working with navigations and you can of course also expand this and work with this feature on different screens and on other uh, principles that need the support of these different states. Now I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. This was just about the nested symbols, which is the new key feature of Sketch 41. Of course, all these icons right here also changed and I'm quite happy about them. They look kind of modern and really like looking forward to use Sketch more and more with, these, with this new update. And they said they have so many new cool features in store, so I'm very excited about that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your time, guys, and enjoy your week. See you!